Hawaii County has done away with its tier system. Mayor Derek Kawakami's latest emergency rule, which the governor approved, will continue to enforce limits on professionally organized events. For more on this, Mayor Kawakami joins us now from Kauai. Good morning, Mayor. Thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you, and good morning to everybody. Now, the tier system was put in place to set the criteria on tightening and loosening restrictions. So why did you decide to get rid of it? Well, it became obsolete. We created the tier system prior to the Delta variant, prior to vaccines, and prior to some of the treatment that um, people that are getting sick are receiving. And so, you know, it also took into account that at a point in time, we thought that 70% of our residents getting fully vaccinated would be a trigger point to drop all restrictions. And I think um, most of us know by now that there are some minor restrictions in place that will really serve our community well as we continue to move forward. Let's talk about those restrictions. What is the rule now in Kauai County as far as gathering and limits? You know, we don't have too many restrictions. We fall under the governor's order. He has an indoor mask mandate, which we fully support. And he has um, gathering size limitations as far as social gatherings. But, you know, on Kauai, we've been having youth sports from June 1st, 2020 with spectators. Um, we've also been allowing some of the larger events um, that really help some of the wedding coordinators and other properties that depend on it. And uh, we define professionally organized events as uh, an event coordinator that will be a point of contact. Um, they're allowed to have gathering sizes of up to 40 indoors and 100 outdoors. But if they want to exceed the limit, um, then they register with the county so that it's in our database. And they abide by um, parameters such as verification of vaccination or a negative test result. And do you think things like this has really helped Kauai in terms of reopening and continuing to ease restrictions? Well, I think holistically, when you put all of the pieces together, and the number one thing is that the people of Kauai have been doing the right thing. I think that in and of itself has helped to stabilize the situation, um, not having to um, open and close uh, too many times to create that uncertainty. And um, I would say the biggest factor is our people are really trying to do the, the right thing. And Mayor, what is the next step for Kauai and the residents there? Well, you know, the next step is, of course, to continue to be safe. Um, I'm very optimistic, as well as other leaders uh, within the state and the county, as far as being able to continue to march forward. Um, but for Kauai County as mayor, you know, we've reshifted our focus to getting back to the business at hand. We've been uh, doing training for our employees, uh, customer service training, and for many businesses and for many residents, um, they are learning how to coexist with COVID-19, knowing that this is a virus that's just going to be around. And then finally, since travel has been a big topic of discussion, both nationally and locally, do you think the state should officially welcome back visitors, ease restrictions further when it comes to travel? Well, I think that when we look at the data for Koi County, travel was relatively safe in the sense that most of our cases were community acquired that were being seated with our residents going and traveling with family members and unfortunately getting sick. We didn't see too many visitors. Um, and that's a call the governor is going to have to make. Um, it's hard to predict what lies ahead. And so if the governor is going to make an announcement um, to have travel resume, then we should be ready to sail a steady ship uh, through rough waters and through calm waters as well. And is Kauai County ready? Oh, we have been. We never told visitors to not come. Um, so we, we're ready and we have been ready. All right. Sounds good. Mayor Derek Kawakami, we thank you so much for your time and for joining us. And you have a good day and a good weekend. Thank you very much. You have a great day, too.